Um, okay, I want to share one more thing just because I want to talk about it and we... Yeah, who knows if we have time for it? Let's hear it. Okay, so I decided that this kind of is a travel story um, because an aquarium in Sweden might be someplace you might go uh, if you are touring Sweden. Dateline Sweden. Fidel Castro's crocodile bites man at aquarium party. What? <laughs> <laughs> Those are words I never thought I would get the chance to say. Um, so a man has been hospitalized. <laughs> A man has been hospitalized after being bitten by a crocodile that once belonged to the late Cuban leader Fidel Castro earlier this week. How did Fidel week. Castro's crocodile end up in Sweden? That is a great... Party. <laughs> that's right. a great question. So, the, uh, the crocodile oh, wow. is one of two Cuban crocodiles that were originally given to a Russian cosmonaut by Castro in the 70s. Oh, no. So the story gets even better, right? <laughs> so the cosmonaut... <laughs> Brought, brought the crocodiles back to Moscow, and eventually they were brought to Sweden and uh, ended up in the aquarium there. Um, and the man was attending a crayfish party, which is apparently a <laughs> traditional Swedish celebration at which you eat crayfish. And uh, <laughs> he was leaning against the tank and had his arm on the wrong side of the glass and got himself oh, bit. Oh, no. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Why uh, did they have a crocodile at the party? Right. <laughs> well, it was at the aquarium. Oh, but I mean, it was, it was at an aquarium. I just, for some reason, aquarium. I had it in yeah. my head that they were like, okay, and now we're going to bring in the crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional Swedish crawdad As, as party. you do right, at yes. a traditional, a right. Like, it's tradition. Don't mock as tradition. As one does. <laughs> So maybe if this story grows, then all of the millennials are going to go to Sweden for the crawfish Absolutely. instead. Absolutely. We'll watch for that travel trend. Absolutely. Sounds good. 